Whether you're figuring out how many supplies you need or planning logistics, understanding the basic operations is key to solving ASVAB math problems. Let's break these down. Here's an overview of the lesson. Using whole numbers in real life situations. Review of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Identifying key info in word problems. Let's begin with addition word problems. So starting with word problem one, a platoon has 125 rifles. They receive an additional 48 rifles from headquarters. How many rifles does the platoon have now? Let's do a step-by-step -step breakdown on the whiteboard. All right, so we'll write our equation as one, 25 plus 48 equals. Now, when you're on the ASVAB, you can't use your calculator. So if you need to understand how to solve this equation without a calculator, follow these steps. We'll take the lower number and we'll put it under 125. Now, we saw from the top down, 5 added to 8 is 13. We carry the 1 to the top of the next column. Now we add all this together. 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And we bring the 1 down. So the answer to 125 plus 48 is 173. Subtraction word problems. All right. A camp has 500 supplies. After distributing 312 supplies to the soldiers, how many supplies are left? Let's solve this on the whiteboard. Okay. So we have 500 minus 312. This is how we set up our equation. Now you see that we can't subtract zero from 12 or zero from one. So we have to borrow from the hundreds place and the tenths place to convert these numbers. So if we borrow from five, that becomes four minus three, and this becomes 10, all right? But now we need to borrow from 10 to add to this place. So this becomes nine, and then this becomes 10, all right? So 10 minus two is eight. Nine minus one is eight. Four minus three is one. Our answer to 500 minus 312 is 188. You see, because we have to borrow all the way from the hundreds place, convert the tens place and the ones place, into a number that can be subtracted from. Multiplication word problems. A team is preparing a box for shipment. Each box contains 18 units and they need to pack 27 boxes. How many units are in all the boxes combined? Okay. Breaking down our word problem, we get 18 times 27 for our equation. We can write this out to solve this manually without a calculator as 27 times 18 vertically. Now, eight times 27, we have to do these individually. So we'll, we'll do eight times seven first, which gives us 56. And we'll bring the remainder of five to the top, to the next column. Now we do 8 times 2, which will give us 16. We have to add the remainder of 8 times 2. So 8 times 2 is 16 plus 5, which gives us 21. Okay, now we do the same with the 1. 1 times 7. But really, since the 1 is in the tens place and not the 1's place, it'll be 10 times 7. And 10 times 7 is 70. Okay? And now we're back to doing 1 times 2, 
since we're back in the tens place. So it'll be one, and we, and we can forget the five because we've already added that remainder. So one times two is two. Now all we do is simply add these together and this will give us 4, 86. So 18 times 27 is 4, 86. Division word problems. A squad has 360 rounds of ammunition. If they need to divide the rounds equally among 12 soldiers, how many rounds will each soldier get? All right, so coming from our word problem, we can write our equation as 360 divided by 12. To solve this manually, we can do 12 divided by 360 written this way. So, we wanna see how many times 12 can go into 360? Now that's a large number and your multiplication tables probably, if you memorize them, probably only go up to about 12 times 12, which would be 144. So this is a larger number. So how would we figure this out? First we see how many times 12 goes into three, which would be zero. So how many times is 12 going to 36? Well, let's see. 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 3 is 36. Ah, 12, go, 12 goes into 36 three times. All right? So, to break this down, we really don't have to do any more calculations. If we multiply 12 times 30, we would get 360. So the answer is 30. 12 divided by, tw 360 divided by 12 equals 30. Here are some key takeaways. Underline the important numbers and keywords. Identify the correct operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Solve carefully and double check your answer. You've just tackled some real world math problems using basic operations. The more you practice, the easier these types of questions will become. In the next lesson, we'll build on these skills as we dive into fractions, decimals, and percentages. See you there.